Crafty friends, we are going to try this video again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do the tutorial, but I will try to go through this a little bit and explain it with you. And I do apologize. I have no idea what is going on with my, um, I use, I think it's called Microsoft um, or Movie Maker Editor. Um, it's the newer version of it, and uh, you know what? Some days it has its good days, and some days it has its bad day. But when I actually watch my video um, through the regular player on my computer, there is sound, so I'm not sure what's going on. But let me begin by showing you the paper collection that I used. Um, and I already put it away. Nice. Hold on. Okay, the paper collection that I used is A Winter's Night by Recollections. I got this last year. Um, I believe this is actually from maybe 2018. I'm not sure, but um, I did purchase this last year in the store. I'm sure they probably have something similar to this. I just kind of like the, um, you know, wintry, woodsy vibe of this paper collection. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I also used a little bit of the uh, Recollections um, rose gold paper, and it matches the rose gold in the collection to make my little star here. And so I thought uh, that was really cute to use. Um, I was gifted this by Tiffany McGill, Crafting Like a Boss. Thank you, Tiffany. I love it. Um, and also, what did I use? Oh. I don't know where it's at right now, but I apologize because I pretty much put everything away when I was done with the video. Um, it was the, um, the Joann's paper, whatever it is, papery something. Anyway, you all know what I'm talking about. I apologize that I'm not making any sense. I'm a little bit thrown off because I spent... I don't know, a half an hour trying to figure out why this video, why the previous video's sound was not coming through on the recording. So it was really weird. Anyway, so this is a cute little box. I got a file from um, Pinterest, right? And it is not an SVG file. It is a JPEG. I turned it into a PNG file using Adobe. Um, I can give you the link to this, but you I don't know if you can use it or not because it'll be just a JPEG but anyway I'll try to send it to you so you can try it but anyway uh, a couple other things too is that um whoever designed it the measurements were incorrect so in my tutorial video I showed you how to fix it but um maybe I'll try to include it but there'll be no sound so I apologize I'll try to clip it to just that section and let you know that basically I readjusted um, one of the score lines and then I cut some of the pieces off that need to be cut off in order to make this fit. Okay, so um, the size of the box is four inches and the width of the box is two inches. And then the height of the box is five and three eighths. Okay, so that's a really good size box. And also, um, if you do want the Cricut cut file, I can share the file with you. It is already preset and ready to go. Um, so anyway, uh, but you will still have to adjust that one piece. You have to cut the excess off or it will not work. Okay, so anyway, I hope that um, this helps you guys. And I do appreciate y'all so much for being patient. I really don't know. I would suggest not using the Movie Maker Pro version. I paid for it and it, it's been a pain in my booty. But anyway, I do love this little box and I thought that I would probably put in a bag of cookies and give it to my neighbors. You could also put in some socks or any of your small little goodies. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, it's quite a decent size. So um, anyway, I hope you all love it. Don't forget to check out... Um, Tiffany McGill, Crafting Like a Boss. She's up next. And um, 
If you haven't seen everybody else's videos, just start off with Rosa Kelly. I have all the links down below in the description box. And if you want to um, join my Facebook group, Salty Beach Scrappers, I often give away a lot of freebies. And if you look in the file section, I have tons for Christmas from last year that you can still use, like little pillow boxes, and etc. So I hope you all love it. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. And hopefully there will be no more video issues. Bye, guys.